As we have gotten to know a number of Iranian provinces so far, this week we want to get acquainted with Gilan province in northern Iran. Gilan province is one of the 31 provinces of Iran. It lies along the Caspian Sea in Iran's region 3, west of the province of Mazandaran, east of the province of Ardabil, and north of the province of Zanjan and Azvin. It borders the Republic of Azerbaijan in the north and Russia across the Caspian Sea. The main harbor port is Bandar Anzali. Gilahi is one of the main languages spoken in the province of Gilan and is divided into three dialects, Western Gilaki, Eastern Gilaki, and Galeshi, in the mountains of Gilan. Gilan province is one of the tourist hubs of Iran due to its rich nature and culture and historical heritage. Let's get acquainted with some historical and scenic areas of this province. The tomb of Mirza Kuchak Khan Jangali, known as the commander of the jungle, is located in the south of Rasht, in the neighborhood of Soleiman Darab, between the monument and the cemetery of Soleiman Darab. Mirza Kuchak Khan was an Iranian 20th century revolutionary leader and the president of the Persian Socialist Soviet Republic. He was the founder of the revolutionary movement based in the forests of Gilan in northern Iran that became known as the Nisate Jangal, the jungle movement. This uprising started in 1914 and remained active against internal and foreign enemies until 1921. Rutkhan Castle is a brick and stone medieval fortress in Iran that was built by the Gilakis to defend against the Arab invaders during the Arab Islamic invasion of Sasanian Iran. With the fall of the Sasanian Empire, this area became a defensive position against the Arabs in the ten newly established Tabaristan. The castle is built on two tips of a mount. Its architects made use of natural mountainous features in the construction of the fort. Anzari Lagoon in the Caspian Sea is near Bandara Anzali in the northern Iranian province of Gilan. This international lagoon is a model not only in Iran but also in the world and has a great biodiversity. Lagoons are considered the most biologically diverse of all ecosystems. However, the Anzali lagoon has also been the victim of the authorities' neglect, putting it in danger of serious ecological changes. Unfortunately, the lagoon suffers from pollution because of the government's mismanagement. The use of Anzali Lagoon's bank as the city dump and the release of human and industrial waste into the lagoon have already put in danger the lives of animal species and at least 78 species of birds living in the area. Masule is a village in the Sardar Jangal district in Fuman County, Gilan province, Iran. It was founded in the 10th century AD. The first village of Masule was established around 1006 AD, 6 kilometers northwest of the current city, and it is called Old Masule. Masule's architecture is unique. The buildings have been built into the mountain and are interconnected. Courtyards and roofs both serve as pedestrian areas similar to streets. The spectacular architecture of Masule is popularly known as the yard of the building above is the roof of the building below. Langerud County is in Gilan province that ends in Laijan County in the west and in Rutsar County in the east. Today, Adob Bridge in Langerud 
which is made of brick and mortar, is known as the most famous historical monument and the landmark in Langerud. This historical bridge is built on Langerud River. Laijan has several historical buildings. One of these buildings is the tomb of Kashifol Sultana. Haj Muhammad Mirza Kashifol Sultana is the first person who brought tea into Iran. Laijan is one of the oldest and most beautiful towns of Gilan province. This city is famous by the name of City of Tea, as this town was the first place where tea was planted in 1280 by the efforts of Haj Muhammad Mirza Kashifol Sultana and then it was spread to other southern coasts of Mazandaran Sea. Gilan province with its natural attractions and its beautiful scenes has always been an ideal destination for eco-tourists. One of the most important districts of this province is Eshkevarat, which in addition to a unique nature has valuable ancient and historical relics as well. Due to the lack of infrastructure by the Iranian regime, the rain in Gilan, which occurred in a very short time, caused a lot of damage to the people of this region. The Iranian regime never took any action to compensate for it. Primary estimates showed that between 40,000 and 60,000 hectares of agricultural land in the province were damaged. Because of the anti-dictatorship history of this province, the people of Gilan have always protested against the oppression of the Iranian regime. As the number of COVID-19 victims are rising because of the carelessness of the authorities, people are objecting to the authorities for not having a specific quarantine for patients with the virus. They staged the protest and as usual, the regime sent agents of the special forces who fired tear gas at the people instead of answering to their demands, which made the people furious. The harvest celebration is a traditional old and lasting ceremony in northern Iran that takes place at the end of an agricultural season after a period of planting and harvesting. Wheat and rice paddy products are given to eliminate farm workers' fatigue in spring and summer in Mazandaran, Gilan, and Golestan provinces since the Ghajar era. This celebration is a symbol of people's gratitude, friendship, and cooperation, and a way of preserving and reviving ancient traditions and culture. Gilan is one of the most beautiful provinces of Iran and has many tourist attractions. In addition to the beautiful beaches, forests, and its green nature, handicrafts of Gilan have made the northern province of Iran a popular destination for tourists. Wooden and handmade artifacts such as wheat turning, wicker, and carpet weaving are among the handmade products of Gilan province. The local dress of Gilan is known as the happiest dress in the world. The clothing of Gilani men and women dates back to the second millennium BC. You can see all kinds of ornaments used on skirts, shirts and headbands of Gilani women in the oldest documents related to clothing from archaeological searches in Marlik Rud Barhil. 
The local clothes in Gilani women are a rainbow of different colors. The colors of Gilani clothes are known to be happy because of the colors in its nature. Iranian folk dances are all rooted in the traditions, rituals, beliefs, and culture of the Iranian people, which will well reflect the collective spirit and cultural heritage of each person. Gilaki dance is a symbol of the culture of the people of Gilan, and each of its movements represents an action that is performed in the daily life of the people. In fact, that dance is one of the types of movements that the natives of Gilan hold at the beginning of the growing season to praise and thank their Lord in celebrations and joy. Northern sour chicken is one of the famous dishes of Gilan province, which is prepared from chicken breast flavored with saffron. Other ingredients used in cooking this dish are walnuts, vegetables, pomegranate paste, tomato paste, various spices, and garlic. After mixing these ingredients, they keep it for 24 hours so that the chickens absorb the taste of the added ingredients. And then the chicken is grilled on karko. This dish is one of the most delicious dishes of the north. Another northern dish is kal kebab, which includes the following. Eggplants, walnuts, sour pomegranate seeds, pomegranate juice, and leka powder, black pepper, garlic cloves or garlic powder, and fragrant herbs including mint. To make this dish, first the eggplants are grilled on a flame and are then peeled, crushed, and ground. At this stage, ground walnuts and other necessary ingredients are added. Rashti Kal Kabob is one of the most famous and popular dishes of Gilan province. Thank you for being with us in this program. We will continue to be with you introducing other provinces of Iran. Thank you.